try to keep it short and uh, simple and everyone can enjoy. So myself, I'm Rahman Hassan. Uh, I work as an academic, uh, as a program manager in one of the private institutions in, in London. And my colleague, uh, Mr. Taslim Ahmed, who is uh, also a lecturer in, in the same institution. And Okay, closer. <laughs> And in the same time, uh, Mr. Taslim is a PhD researcher in his second year phase, and very, very uh, soon in next year or so, he'll be completing his uh, PhD. And um, why we are having a dual act? The reason is we have two different fields, and we are trying to merge the two fields together. My field is nonprofit organization, which is social entrepreneurship, and uh, Mr. Taslim's field is. Uh, human resource management, so health and safety goes to his, his uh, department, and we are trying to combine them together. Well, to start with then, um, welcome to our presentation of a comparative study of health and safety provision and their impacts on profit and non-profit organization. Okay, there is a saying, uh, men cannot multitask, so some technical Brilliant. So I'll try to prove it wrong that men can multitask. So first to start with, uh, we have looked at uh, what are the different types of organization and we have found from the source of uh, Professor Yunus um, that he identified organizations to be in two different uh, types. One type of organization that try to make profit from the market and there are other organizations who try to make uh, no profit Rather, they try to do good to the society. So profit-making or organization and non-profit organization. And the non-profit organizations are also uh, known as social enterprises. Now, by saying non-profit organization, uh, we, should, we should know that some of the non-profit organizations make a little bit of profit. They make a little bit of money, but they don't... Uh, intentionally uh, make those profit, rather they make the profit to invest them in future endeavor and uh, to make uh, good for the society. And uh, so this is, uh, this is uh, what, what, what are social enterprises, because this is, this is a new concept, not very new, new concept, but newer concept than uh, previous years. And uh, it's becoming a very popular, popular topic in, in current time. So what the social enterprises try to do is they, they do not operate with the same ethos or same mechanism uh, of the regular enterprises, regular companies. Rather, they have significant difference uh, in operation compared to a profit-making organization. And um, that's where uh, the dilemma uh, and... Uh, from that dilemma, we did the research and tried to identify wh wh whether there are any difference in impact of health and safety provision in profit-making organization and in non-profit-making organization. So uh, I, I will invite uh, Mr. Taslim to uh, say about health and safety provision because it's his uh, department. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And... The next one will be my part, which is health and safety provision. Here we try to categorize the risk of health and safety within business enterprises. Gentlemen, I describe a, um, the business making business for the money, and another one is business actually for the good causes. Health and safety are the sets of regulations and rules which actually need to follow by the business institution and thus give the opportunity to find out the hazard within the business. And these actually give another opportunity for the management in terms of the safety management, management provision. And also, these give the opportunity to the management to make sure the health and safety for the employees and for the um, customers within the business. The main reason for this study to identify the hazards, the problem within the health and safety uh, to facilitate the employees and customers, also to make available information for the next future researcher and for the practitioner. And the approach. 
for this research, we try to find out the information or the literature through secondary research in particular using the books, journals related to health and safety, also the online resources, um, journals and websites available for and related to health and safety. The findings. Um, going through the studies and cases, uh, this study find out that many business and almost every business institutions, they are spending their money for many causes. However, they are not spending or thinking much about their health and safety. And this health and safety issue can cost a lot for the human life and for the business itself. So, this matter needs to be articulated very clearly, precisely, and loudly, because it may cost our life, time, and our business itself. And originality. Emphasizing the importance of health and safety provision for both profit and non-profit organizations. And the next, the conclusion, I will request my colleague to draw. Thank you, Mr. Thaslim. Um, well, uh, we, when we did the research, we looked at uh, Marriott Total Operation for the profit, who, who are a profit-making organization. And for non-profit-making uh, organization like social enterprises, we have looked at a number of organizations under the um, uh, Somerset, uh, North Somerset, enterprise agency they have a list of register of all social enterprises in that area and uh, like mr taslim mentioned uh, we found uh, even though the non-profit organization have significant difference in operation they didn't have any leverage in health and safety provision they had to make sure the health and safety provisions were uh, were established like any profit making organization which made it harder for many non-profit making organizations because it, uh, it has a lot of investment involved to make sure the um, health and safety provisions are maintained. Now, finally, I would like to uh, end by saying maybe ma many of you or maybe most of you ha have, some quest uh, have a question in your mind uh, what this topic uh, is doing in this uh, Sudanese di uh, di uh, Dizapura uh, conference, okay? Why? The thing is, we don't have a direct link yet, but we have indirect link. Because uh, um, in my knowledge and understanding with the research we have found, uh, Sudan is going through a uh, massive development and uh, uh, changes um, in, in recent time. And w when this happens, uh, many profit-making organization and non-profit-making organization um, um, contributes in the development and changes. So. Uh, in future research, like uh, my colleague mentioned, uh, uh, we'll, we'll recommend um, um, areas where we, we can do further research in future. Um, I'll say maybe a research area would be whether it has any different impact in, in, in Su Sudan or any country similar as Sudan who are, who are going through a development or change. Well, uh, okay. Question. I, I think we'll have a separate question time. So, uh, but in the same time, we, we have listed the references in, in your spare time. When you are very bored, you can look at the references. They are never too interesting. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks,